Minimal preview is kind of a legacy feature. Basically, it just fetches a minimal preview so that it's easier for you to browse through the files in your library module. The embedded and sidecar preview is probably the one you're gonna need the most. Your RAW file actually embeds a tiny little preview so that it's easy for you to browse through your photos in camera. Lightroom basically fetches that so that it can also be used in post-production. It doesn't take render time, it just fetches previews that's already there. The next one is the standard preview. It basically takes the RAW file and renders a preview with a resolution resolution of your screen. This is great for photos that you don't need to zoom in to check focus, but you still want a high resolution file. One-to-one -one previews are basically the same thing as standard previews, except that the preview is one-to-one -to, -one to every single pixel. Uh, now, all the previews that I mentioned before are for culling through your images. If you want to use previews to develop your photos, you're going to want to use smart preview. Smart previews have a resolution of 2540 pixels on the longest side of your image. So it's not a full resolution of your RAW file, but it still gives you enough pixels for you to edit. This preview can also sync with Lightroom Mobile and the web. 